Hello, all of my young artists. I'm going to start out with a drawing lesson this week of something I can find in my own home. Since all of you are spending so much time at home now, we can utilize things around the house. I found this really cool wall hanging of a pink flamingo. I'm going to try to draw this with you today, but first, let me tell you, you can stop the video and pause it at any time. I have markers, crayons, whatever you can find, pencils, color pencils, whatever you have for color. Um, I think I'm going to start out with this black crayon and I'm going to, I think I'm going to first of all see how big I can fit or how I can fit my pink flamingo on here. Let me start with the head. The head is sort of a rounded shape and it's sort of like an S. I'm going to start with my rounded shape and I'm going to curve down like so. All right, next we have sort of like a banana shape. I'm going to curve it around, do a second line, and come down. Now I'm going to add where it connects to the head. All right, I'm going to add a second S line. I'm going to come down. There we go. We've got the head. Now let's look at the bottom of the flamingo. Well, this shape is sort of like a teardrop. I'm going to add a teardrop shape over here. And it's got kind of wavy lines for the feathers. Last but not least, let's add our legs. Flamingos have very long legs, so I'm going to bend mine to fit in the picture. All right, we're rocking and rolling now. So be thinking of what you would like to draw. You're welcome to draw this flamingo or see what else you have around the house that you can draw. All right, let's think about color. I'm gonna add some light pink on here. And if you wanna add some more texture by adding some shapes or lines, go right ahead. I think I might add some lines on my feather. This one has kind of like curly cues. That should do it. Let's not forget my beak. And don't forget the background. If you want to add something in the background, how about a sun? Nice happy sun. I'll add a little more color to my wing. And remember, if you need to, you can add a second line for the legs or just one if you want to have a simple leg. Thank you for drawing with me today. 
and I'm looking forward to answering questions and comments after this video.